Hi guys, Phil Hands here. Right, today I want to go through the Tom Chu Emergency Kit. This one here was given to me by a friend to have a look at and basically say what I think of it. This is not a review, this is not anything like that, this is just me going through it and having a look at it and tell you what I think of it. I've not used this, I think this is brand new still. I've had a look inside of it, so yeah. So, I'll, let, I'll run the intro and then we'll bring you back. Right, right, as I said in the intro, let's have a look at this kit. Comes in this real nice felt bag, whatever you want to call it, and there it does say Tom Shoe on the bag. And that's the kit Tom Shoe Emergency Survival Kit 23 in 1 of emergency um, items. I don't know if this box is waterproof. I've never tested it, as I said, it's not mine to test. I am not going to test it. Nothing to do with me. So, let's have a look inside. It has the normal three, four clamps. And that's it inside. It has a nice, big rubber o ring on the lid. There is some foam inside of it as well. So, we'll go through it quickly now. Emergency blanket, that does, it's 140 by 210 centimeters. It looks like a, one of those basic ones. These got emergency blankets, so yeah. We'll go for that after we've gone for everything else. So that's right for a minute. It has a torch. I have a few of these torches. They are good, I like them a lot. So, yeah, they are good torches. I do have, as I said, I do have a couple of these in my, not in my rucksack, but in around the house. That's a good piece of kit. Um, a compass. I have one of these as well. Mine, I love mine to bits. I need to open this one now. Crikey. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That was stiff! And it does point north. See, as you can see, there's the compass. Very, very stiff opening compass, but that might be a good sign. Um, I have no idea. Two carabiners. No, look, and they're not weight loading carabiners, they just kit carabiners. Um, a powerful bracelet. Looks not a bad one actually. Looks quite good. A good size spell rod actually. Quite a nice one actually. Quite a nice handle as well. It does feel like a nice. It does feel like a soft one as well. So I'm not striking it because as I said it's not my kit to do. Not that one. But another one of these um gearing torches. Don't know why they put two in here. But yeah. A wire saw. It does look like a really Decent ish one, decent one, but you can never tell that until you use them. So, yeah, excuse me, guys, I'm sorry, drink quickly. It is hot today, it's outside, it's 25, inside, it's 28, 29 in here, and that's with hands on. So, yeah, but going back to the kit, looks like a Reasonably decent whistle. I am not blowing it, so never gonna have one. 
clearing out of my French kit. Mike's good. God, one of these are rubbish. Tinder. And that's what they call Tinder. And the main big thing in here is this. Reasonably short. This be this is a legal curry in the UK. One, it's a lock and blade. Two, it's barely three inches. Three. As I said, and it's a flip type knife where you have to where you can use your thumb to flip it open. So, yeah, it has a glass bike on it as well, plus a seatbelt bike um, cutter. Very, very, very nice actually. Heavy, very heavy, but looks like a good piece of kit. So that's everything what's in that compartment. Let's have a look what's in here now. In one of these bags, it's not waterproof because that's a hole right there. I don't know if you can see that. Right there, there's a hole. So it's not waterproof. Quite not even water resistant. So in here, there's a two go swaps. Some cotton swaps, but looks quite good actually. Yeah, do look quite nice. Crap pair of tweezers. See, they don't even click in together. If I can't grab my hair, no. They're crap. I already knew that. They are, we uh, in here it is two iodine pop, uh, pop pads. Plus two alcohol pads, so that's 70%, 75% ethanol alcohol. Another cut thing, cut pair of scissors, some tape. Not bad. One of these rubber tourniquets. Don't know how they can call this a tourniquet. I really don't. To me, it's like when they take blood in the hospital, it's like when they used to take blood. <laughs> Are they not the surgeries? But they don't use them anymore. And some um, safety things. Now, it's everything. What is in this kit? I do apologise if this video took so long. I do apologise 110%. So, yeah, this is every single thing what's in this kit. Thank you very much for watching. We highly appreciate every single minute of every step. We appreciate every second of every minute we, uh, you give us. And um, please join us here at Film Fence. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.